YouTube, 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 you've done it to me again. Hit me with a, uh, hit me with a copyright infringement notice on my latest vlog. I just uploaded this thing like 24 minutes ago, and all of a sudden now, 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 they're hitting me with a copyright, so it's, it's actually banning me from having my vlog, um shown in 247 countries it is only allowed in canada and the united states it's not allowed in 247 countries so i'm gonna have to put this clip that i'm recording right now re-edit the video put this clip in there because 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 youtube wants to be but, you know, maybe I shouldn't be too upset by it because of the fact that this is YouTube and this is someone else's uh, information. Of course, I'm talking about, um, I am talking about Shimonetta, uh, the anime that I actually had as a clip in this video. Alright, so, yeah, like I said, I had to take this clip which I'm going to show you. I'm actually, you know what? I'm not even going to show it on camera because of the fact that if I show it on camera, then this video, which is the re-edited version of the video, is going to be deleted. So rather than uh, go through all that unnecessary nonsense, I'm just going to put this clip, this clip, in the video. So, of course, upon the week of weirdness, on top of having my vlog, last week's episode, banned in 247 countries because of 40 seconds of video, now, <laughs> I've got nothing but modders and, and hackers trying to contact me on GTA Online and I'm trying to figure out why they're contacting me when I'm not someone who does modding or hacking or any of that stuff. It's really weird. A lot of freaky stuff. In fact, I uploaded it on my Instagram <laughs> around Christmas when someone did the modding there where they threw everybody on a rooftop and then it was one of the highest roofs in the in the city and they started pelting people with little christmas trees and stuff like that and the people were turning into christmas trees and snowmen it was really weird a man can't even use the bathroom 
without some kind of interruption. The neighbors are smoking weed. The smell is coming through. There. Well... It's better than what the bathroom would have smelled like originally. Man, listen. Oh, snap. Oh, snap! It's Super Bowl Sunday. That's right. Here I am messing with this camera. Hold up. There we go. Yeah, it's Super Bowl Sunday and I'm steady here playing some... GTA Online. Don't mind the glitter. <laughs> the glitter, the gleam. That's all water. Let's see? <laughs> but yeah, uh, right now I'm just, I'm playing. I mean, the game ain't even on yet. But, you know, I'm taking my time right now just relaxing. Whether I'm going to watch the game or not, I don't really know necessarily, but, you know, I might. I might. I really don't want to see the Patriots win. <laughs> I know that's going to probably upset a lot of people that are viewing, but I've never been a Patriots fan. I don't like the Patriots. So, you can't really get mad at me for saying that I don't want them to win. And if you, you're hearing the, the, the air, like, really loud back there behind you, uh, that's because I have the fan on. Yes, in the middle of winter, I have the fan on. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's actually warm in my apartment. What do you want me to do? Sit here and sweat?
well nourished. Whew. So what can I say? I didn't... I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> I'm in my kitchen, obviously. Oh. Probably gonna have a peanut butter sandwich. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have a peanut butter sandwich. Jesus Christ, the Super Bowl just finished. And the Philadelphia Eagles beat the New England Patriots. I'm in shock. And I'm going to tell you why I'm in shock. Because, you know, people, uh, people really thought that the Eagles had no chance. Now, mind you, I'm not an Eagles fan. You know, I'm a Giants fan. But, truth be told... Even I kind of had my doubts. But, I look at myself in the mirror in the back here. Uh, hair looks like crap, as always. <laughs> I'm going to actually cut it. I'm actually going to cut it. I don't know if it's going to make it for this vlog or next, but I'm actually going to cut it. Well, I'm actually, I, I was actually shocked because... While I wasn't watching the game per se, I was paying attention to the score on Facebook because friends were posting up the scores and everything, and I stood quiet. I didn't want to talk crap. I didn't want to say anything because I'll, I'll be honest. Like I said, I'm not an Eagles fan, but I definitely am not a Patriots fan. I don't like the Patriots. I've never liked the Patriots. So to hear that they were losing first, and then they were winning, I was just like, Ugh. Of course, my family, I had other family members that were watching the game, and, you know, they were celebrating the Eagles winning at first. But I told them the truth, and this is the one thing that I gotta give Tom Brady and the Patriots as much as I don't like Tom Brady or the Patriots. The Patriots are known for turning it on in the second half. If they have to, if they're losing... They will turn it on in the second half. They, I, 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 I see it as how Brady operates, and this is something that I don't know if anyone else has probably thought of, is that he watches how the team, the, the opposing team, plays offensively and has a chance to study how they play defensively. And that's the whole first half. It's not the first quarter. It's, it's, it's not just the first quarter of the game. No, he takes the whole first half to watch how the opposing team plays until he figures out a way to work around it. No different here. But you had a hungrier team in the Eagles. And, hey, man, I'm not an Eagles fan by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm, I will always go for an underdog. Why? Because the Giants are always the underdog. And let's, let's be honest. Any team that plays the Patriots, especially in the postseason, they're always going to be the underdog. So in this case, I was definitely rooting for the Eagles. I was not rooting for the for the Patriots in any way, shape, or form. You couldn't get me to. That's like me being a Yankee fan, because I am a legit Yankee fan, going for the Boston Red Sox in the series. I knew Yankee fans that were actually doing that, that were actually going for the Red Sox because they were the American League representative. And I could see that concept. Shut up, cat. <laughs> Mama Cat's in heat. No. No. I could see... No! Jeez. She's in heat. She's in heat. But I could see that concept. Don't mind, it's one of my relatives' clothes hanging out to dry, even though they're dry already. But, um, yeah. 
you had a hungrier team in the Eagles. So obviously, they were going to play a lot harder than a lot of other teams. So I left my congratulations to all my friends who were Eagle fans. I did that on social media. And hey, you guys, this is your night. Mind you, this portion of the video is being recorded on Super Bowl Sunday. Literally, what, like 15 minutes after the Super Bowl? So, as I said, I offer my congratulations. But just remember, you gotta play us next year, and we're not gonna do as bad as this year. So, you and the Patriots have to play the Giants next year. And look at me, I'm talking crap even though the season just, 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 just finished. I'm not talking crap, but I am being a fan. Hey, happens. <laughs> anyway, Eagles fans, to my friends who are Eagles fans, to my viewers who are Eagles fans, celebrate tonight. Celebrate the week. Celebrate this whole damn month because you know what? You finally won one. Your team finally won one. And it's the greatest feeling in the world. Well, one of them. Oh! Well, I've got to do my running around again. But before I do, this has got to get trimmed. Here comes the fun part. <sighs> it begins. So far, so good. <laughs> hmm. Not bad. Not bad. What do you think so far? Pretty good, huh? I mean, it's not the most even work I've done on my beard, but uh, it works. rather nicely. Damn, it's already coming down. Look at that. And me that I gotta run errands today. Whew. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> this is me coming back from running my errands downtown and all this sweat from me wearing all these layers because not only was I wearing you know my regular undershirt or whatever and, and this but I'm also wearing a pair of shorts I was also wearing a sweater vest 
I was wearing a hoodie, a scarf, a heavy baseball cap. I'm just getting home. And I gotta run back out. Because errands, man. Errands. And it's tax time. So I gotta go do my taxes. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> no rest for the wicked, huh? They ain't lying about that. They really aren't lying about that. <sighs>